you want to drive your opponent crazy? Well, the shot you need to learn how to hit is the drop shot. I love hitting the drop shot on people because you just see them run to the ball and you know they know they're in trouble. They can't get to it for first of all. The second thing is they know they have to pop it up and you're gonna either maybe peg them or just make them run and hit another lob over them, which makes them feel even worse. And it's just so, it feels so good to watch them when you hit that perfect drop shot, watch them suffer running to the ball knowing that you're gonna lob them again and they're gonna have to run again. They're kinda like the puppet master. So if you wanna be the puppet master, this is a shot you need to learn how to hit. So the very first thing you want to think about is where you want to hit the drop shot from. This is not the place. You don't want to try to hit a drop shot way behind the baseline because it just makes it harder on yourself and you don't want that. You want to make it easy for you to hit the drop shot and watch them suffer. So come with me. This is where you want to hit the drop shot. Whenever you get a ball inside the baseline, it gives you the advantage. Now, the things you want to think about when you're hitting the drop shot is generally, I like drop shotting off a cross court ball a lot of times because it's just not as obvious. If I go down the line, they're gonna see it a little bit earlier. If I go cross court, if I've been hitting cross court, they don't pick up on it as well. And also, it's a great camouflage for my forehand. Now the mechanics. What are the mechanics for hitting a drop shot? Well, basically, you wanna keep your racket face nice and open. This creates a little arc. Now the key is, you wanna make sure you don't swing fast. Most people get really choppy and fast on the drop shot, you don't wanna do that. Open the racket face, swing nice and smooth, come slightly across the ball. Now here's the thing, you don't wanna go through the ball, that's a volley. Drop shot is just coming across and not going through the court enough. If you do those two things, making sure your racket face is open, coming slightly down, not chopping, and across on the ball, you're gonna create a little lift and the ball's gonna start dropping before it gets to the other side of the net, meaning that they're gonna start stretching and suffering when they get to the ball. So if you wanna know when are the best times to hit a drop shot, I'm gonna give you two of them. First of all, when your opponent's way behind the baseline, it's a red flag, make them run, because they're way behind the baseline. And obviously, you wanna make them suffer and run more. <sighs> the other great time to hit a drop shot is generally right after you hit a really big ball in the short ball, it's the next time you hit a drop shot, because guess what? When they see you lining up for that big ball again, and you go into a drop shot, I love it, because they're like bracing for this ball, you hit a drop shot, and you watch their face, their eyeballs kind of pop out of their head because they're like, oh God, not another drop shot. And then you just watch them suffer again. Now here's the quick thing, when you do that, be ready to run them again because that's what makes a drop shot feel even better.